What is this conical shaped padding along train tracks, just before a crossing? They are on both sides and very close to the subway station. Any ideas? They are anti-trespass panels. The idea is to make it harder to walk down the tracks. They are placed at spots where it is still too easy for travelers and trespassers to enter the railroad tracks. What is this heavy metal piece with a rubber ring attached to my hotel key in Germany? Seems to have another purpose than showing the room number. I travel a lot with my job, and it's not the first hotel that uses those things as room number indicators, but its shape seems to serve another purpose as well. What is it for? It's a standard key fob used in many hotels in Germany. It's used to show you the engraved room number, and the rubber ring is so that it does not bounce loud against the door. Heavy and big is so that the guests know that they have them in their pocket and don't lose them. No more practical use than this. What is this felt wallet or pouch with 18 flat brass colored tabs of small varying lengths? that have rounded tops and smaller rounded point bottoms. I don't know how old this thing is or what it was used for. It has no markings or letters anywhere except on the button pieces which do not give any context clues. It seems from the 80s but is in good condition. The brass tabs are flat and look like they're meant to be stuck into the ground like a golf ball tee. I think these are collar stays for men's dress shirts. Lots of shirts come with cheap plastic ones, and you can buy nicer metal ones to replace them. What is this thing I found while cleaning out an old shed? It's about 12 inches and weighs about 5 pounds. It has 8 edges and 2 holes passing through. We think it might be a well weight, but aren't sure. Google image search just came back with pictures of scrap metal. What is it? It's an old electrical insulator from the mid-20th century. They are for the guy wires that support the poles between poles and also to the ground. What is this thing I bought in a job lot of tools? Told it was a large screwdriver, but that does not seem right. It is about 26 inches long and feels heavy with a wooden handle and a narrow part in the middle. Has a Sheffield stamp and the number C2279 and 1954 stamped on it. The point looks like it has primary and secondary bevels, but it is not sharp. What is it? It's called a turnscrew, a London-type screwdriver. My granddad was in the army in World War II as a tank engineer. He had numerous screwdrivers exactly like this which he fetched back from the war. He was also from Sheffield. What are these tall circular towers next to a bank? It doesn't look like any sort of antennae that I've seen before, and it seems odd to have so many of them. Located in Illinois north of Chicago. Any ideas? Those are vertical axis wind turbines. They can collect wind from all directions and are typically less efficient than their horizontal counterpart. They were what I did my first year engineering project on. What is this wooden tool or object around 60 centimeters or 24 inches in length and 4 centimeters or 2 inches width? Appears to be worn out on the bottom end, like it is where it is usually held. Found in the countryside. Thank you in advance for your help. It's an oven push-pull. It's for moving stuff around in an oven, and the hook is for pulling the rack out. We made something similar in middle school shop class. What is this metal tile with a slot in the hallway of the old university building? Standard floor tile size. The groove in it just goes to a very shallow area under the floor. All the floors have these in approximately the same place, but some don't have the groove open. So maybe this one is broken. The building is the hallway in a research facility built in 1960. What is it for? It's a dust collector for a built-in vacuum system. You dry mop the halls, then clean the dry mop using the vacuum at this slot. It used to have a lid that fits the long slot and sealed it. The round part is a hookup for a vacuum hose. My high school had them and the janitors used them. Total blast from the past I haven't seen one since, and had completely forgotten they existed. 
What is this thing? We just moved into a new apartment, and this is on the wall. It's about the same size as a Type-C outlet, and there's a bunch of Ethernet things in the room. It looks old, and there's no info printed on the cable, and pressing the spring-loaded button doesn't seem to do anything. What is it for? It's an emergency alert button for an in-building nurse. The apartment building may have once been an assisted living facility. If you fell over and couldn't get up, you'd want the button as close to the ground as possible to be within reach. What is this thing I found while helping a friend clean out a house? I thought it might be a rock polisher or something. I have no idea. It's a small steam engine toy. I used to have one exactly like that when I was a kid in the 60s. You could use a tiny belt from the wheel to the left of the flywheel and drive utilities. I had a disc saw and something else which I can't recall. I still remember the smell of the esbit bricks. What is this fish with strange writing? My friend found this among her grandmother's things. I thought the letters looked like Proto-Hebrew, possibly a name written in Hebrew letters, but not all looked like Hebrew to me. Any ideas? It's an iron fish, a reusable and effective cooking tool that adds extra iron to your daily foods or drinks. It is made from food-grade electrolytic iron powder that is FDA certified and approved for food fortification worldwide. Boil the fish with food, and it can provide as much as 75% of your daily iron needs. What are these lead blocks found in a UK river? My friend found these while magnet fishing in around 125 grams each. Someone had said these were used to block print panchang calendars. Others said a letting get, but nothing detailed like this. Can anyone positively identify them? Their votive offerings called Yantra, a geometrical diagram mainly from the tantric traditions of the Indian religions. They are used for the worship of deities in temples or at home, as an aid in meditation. What is this thing labeled as an antique wall cutter when I bought it? The recessed groove where the blade hits the wood at the bottom, makes me think that it's something else. Maybe a thresher for wheat flax or linen. Any ideas? Looks a lot like a baguette guillotine. The asymmetry of the depression is simply the result of a slightly loose blade and many years of use. It has hardware for being hung on the wall when not in use. What is that silver tubular turbine thing on top of our cruise ship, the Sapphire Princess? It's on the highest point of the ship, right next to the exhaust vents. Looks almost like a jet turbine, and looks like there's glass on the front. So I'm assuming some sort of usable space. What is it for? Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.